my name's Jake. I'm from a little coastal town on the northern rivers called Evans Head, and I currently teach five six on stage three. Hi, I'm Amy, and I'm from the south coast, from a little coastal town called Kalala Bay. Uh, I'm currently teaching kindergarten, and I've only been teaching for a term. Hi, my name's Matisse, and I'm from Warri. I've been teaching for two years now, and I'm teaching a year two class. Hi guys, I'm Courtney. I am from the north coast of New South Wales, a little town called Yamba. Um, I am teaching kindergarten here at Narrabri West and I've been here for two awesome years. Hi, um, my name's Emma. I'm originally from the south coast. I completed my studies at the University of Wollongong from Nara, so I did it at a rural campus. And now I'm currently teaching stage two, year four. Hi, I'm Emily. I am from Kempsey. I have been teaching for one and a half years now and I'm teaching stage three. Hi, I'm Tess. Uh, I'm from Port Macquarie originally and I've been teaching for about six months. Uh, at Narrabri West I've been doing stage two support and RFA. Decided to move out here, give it a go and uh, started straight away in 2017 on stage two, so halfway through the year. I decided to do my final prac and my internship out here and yeah, I haven't left since. Um, so I did my second year prac at Narrabri West Public School and after finishing my university degree, I took some time off and went overseas and came back out to Narrabri because I enjoyed myself so much and was offered a, um, a job out here, which is really awesome. I was super stoked about that. I was teaching casually during term four of 2017 and about two weeks after my graduate recruitment program interview, I had a phone call saying that I had a permanent position out here at Narrabri West if I would like to take it. And of course I said yes, and I feel like the luckiest girl in the world for having been offered that opportunity. After finishing my placement at Narrabri West, I was lucky enough to continue on and get a temporary contract, which I was very excited about because I'd really grown to love the school and how things work out here. And then recently, uh, because I'd had Narrabri on my list of preferences and I was a targeted grad, I got offered a permanent position, which I very, very happily accepted. Uh, the thing I like most about Narrabri West is how collaborative the staff are and how supportive they are. Uh, being a beginner teacher, I find that I can go to my supervisor or any other colleagues that I work with um, to get help in any area that I need to. Um, I also really like the opportunities that I get at Narrabri West as well. So I find that um, compared to other schools that I have worked at in Newcastle, um, I got put on class or did casual days on class and that was it. Uh, out here I find that I get to do things like run sports teams, go away for sport as well. I also run the drum group at school, which I think is pretty cool as well. What I like best about Narrabri West is uh, the collaborative approach to teaching. So um, we meet together as a stage and um, debrief and reevaluate um, co consistently, which is really good. And also our planning days and um, professional development. Um, I think I've learned so much already in just a short space of time and I think that it's really valuable. What I enjoy most about Narrabri West is um, the collaborative approach that we have to our programming. So it's not just one person doing everything, it's just, it's a real team effort. Um, being on a stage with like-minded people, you just learn so much as well from the more experienced teachers as well. And yeah, it's just really exciting to just be able to learn so much in a rural setting. You don't have to be in the city to learn new practices and new strategies for teaching, so yeah. We have such a collaborative learning environment that we are always striving to help each other out and we consistently use our teacher judgement to assess programs, validate them and look at where to next. And our formative assessment cycle helps us analyse it to where we're going to. So I love that we have such a collaborative staff here at Narrabri West. We have lots of beginning teachers and we also have a fair few experienced staff members as well who offer us support and guidance in our teaching journey. So I really enjoy how collaborative our staff is here at Narrabri West. It's really supportive, especially as a beginning teacher. I never feel like I'm silly for asking questions. And coming in as a support and RFF role, I found it's been great because I've been able to go around the school and meet all of the children and teach most classes. 
So we're currently doing our accreditation, a few of the beginner teachers. Um, we get a bit of beginner teacher time to actually work on that. Um, our supervisor, Patsy, she's fantastic in helping us in achieving that. We've got a few people that have already done their accreditation that are really helpful. Um, so I find that extra support really helpful. Um, so every year we get visitors from different schools. Uh, this year we have a lot of small schools come and visit and um, they came because we've been doing a lot of stuff to do with formative assessment and assessment for learning, um, which has been fantastic as a beginner teacher to start that process. Um, in 2018, we had a bunch of schools from Sydney come to visit. Uh, my stage, I was on stage two at the time, we got to actually do a bit of a Q&A with those teachers and share what we know about assessment for learning and all of the PL that we've done as a school and yeah, share our successes, the things that worked in our classroom. Um, and that's been a really great experience to get uh, their ideas and things around that as well. So at our school, we have lots of different uh, flexible learning spaces that our students get to work at. Um, I'm currently right in front of a, a whiteboard table that my kids really enjoy. Um, there's kneeling tables that we have. We have cushions all around our rooms that kids sit on. Uh, standing tables that they work at um, and lots of group um, tables that the students love working around when they're in group work. Um, we also have our horseshoe tables, some of them are whiteboard tables that kids scribble all over um, but they're really helpful when it comes to things like you know reading groups, maths groups and whatnot. We don't have one in our classroom but there's like a U-shaped table and it's the same as this but it's actually a whiteboard so you can be sitting with the teacher but you can still like be doing your work and figuring things out and writing down on the whiteboard table. So it's really convenient I suppose. And so when it comes to assessment for learning and our formative assessment cycle, I think it's really handy um, that we're not just sitting kids down and doing test after test to get our assessment. Um, we actually ask kids questions, we observe them um, and we've got lots of different strategies to be able to assess our kids effectively. Um, we do a lot of professional learning on that as well, so it's not just like, here's formative assessment and our assessment learning cycle, um, go and do that. With our professional learning here at Narrowry West, we make sure that anything we're implementing is implemented school-wide, and we go through as a staff and make sure that we are all comfortable with what we are using. Um, we might go through multiple versions of something, and then once we've all come to an agreement, then it's implemented across every classroom in the school. So it's just assessing our students the whole time we're teaching them. We're not just, you know, teaching them five or six lessons in maths about division and then at the end of the week going, here's a test and that's all we assess. Um, we use things called cop sheets and it's sort of like a traffic light system where um, we assess students on all different outcomes and indicators and what we're trying to get them to learn. Um, we're also massive on using learning goals and success criteria and I find it's really clear for our students. There's a goal that gives you a verb, um, there's one behind me. So this one's an art one and it's we'll be able to apply the blending technique and we've got success criteria which shows them exactly what we're looking for so there's no sort of guessing for students no students need to go what are we learning and if they do get stuck and they're not sure what to do uh, they know that there's a place to look at straight away and that's our learning goal and success criteria what are you learning today uh, about the three levels of um a parliament um, on the learning goal and success criteria and also on the smartphone uh, learning goals are basically um, like a sheet of paper that the teacher hangs up in our classroom um, every session to tell us what we will be learning about. The success criteria is a sheet of paper that we have on the whiteboard so if we're not quite sure what we're doing we know how to do it. And we can also like go up there to make sure we have everything that we need to have put in our work because it always has a really good example. For a beginning teacher or a person that wants to come and do a prac, I can't recommend coming out here enough. Um, the community is something that is a massive plus for me. Um, when I first moved out here, I was lucky enough to know a few people, um, but there's so many people that move out here and 
you know, do pracs and then after they've done their pracs they get work straight away. So you're straight into the workforce. Um, the kids out here are amazing. Um, we've got lots of things going on in the community, whether it's a sport team or whatnot. I was a little worried about moving out here originally because I didn't really know anybody, but it's been so easy to fit into this community. There are many different things you can do to have a social life outside of school. There are heaps of different sporting teams you can join, even if you've never played the sport before, you just rock up and join up for a team. There's also lots of social events. We have a Wednesday night meet raffles at the RSL, which a lot of the beginning teachers go to weekly. And it's a great way to be social. I moved here knowing no one, then I joined touch, netball and rugby, and now I feel like I know half the town, which probably do. <laughs> One of the biggest surprises about moving out here was how many young professionals there are. Um, at Narrabri West um, we're really lucky to be surrounded by young quality teachers and I've found it super easy to settle in and um, really make the most of my time out here. And um, like everyone's really friendly. And, stuff. and getting along. Mm -hmm. Teachers also all get along. <laughs> Perfect.